Yes, my name is uh, Mathieu Roy. I'm a filmmaker from Montreal, Canada. Uh, I come from a, a documentary background and uh, now with uh, L'Autre Maison, uh, I, I, it's my first feature fiction film. So, um, so yeah, that's my story. Ça n'arrivera plus, ok là On ne même pas la à son livre. Ça fait quatre mois que tu n'es pas venu nous voir. Ça fait quatre mois que tu n'es pas là, pas tout. Yeah, I started writing this film, uh, L'Autre Maison, Another House, uh, a few years ago, three, four years ago, uh, because my dad had uh, Alzheimer. So, uh, obviously, it's very difficult to see your own dad decline with this condition. And I thought, like, as a therapeutic uh, 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 approach I, I would start writing the, the sentences that he that he said uh, because my dad was a, a very famous journalist and very articulate and he, he, would, sp he would speak an excellent French uh, and it's very sad to see that he, he, he would be losing his ability to speak and, and to make sense but yet he would construct very strange sentences that were very poetic in a strange sense so my mother and I were writing a diary of everything that he said and, and uh, it gave me the idea of, of writing a, a bigger story around that. Now with a fiction film, this one that I'm showing here in, in Mumbai, L'Autre Maison, uh, it's, it's different because for the first time I had to really uh, uh, talk about myself and talk about something that I've experienced and that's a very different experience because you're much more vulnerable and, um, and you're much more fragile uh, in a way. So it's different and, and I like to do both. I like to do, uh, I, I would like to, do, to continue making personal fiction film and continue making big picture socio-economic political documentaries. Uh, I think you know, like shooting this film L'Autre Maison was, was, was interesting because I had imagined uh, uh, the setting in the forest, like uh, in a reclo, like uh, no distraction to the story, like a country house, a lake, woods. And to me it was kind of a metaphor for the, the, the state of mind of the, of the, of the dad who's, who's Alzheimer because he's, 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 he's lost in, in his mind and the forest was, and he escapes in the forest and so it was kind of a metaphor. And what we did not expect was that on the lake uh, there was this mist and this fog that, and we, that's something that I, I wanted but that was there because of the weather we, we, we had happened and it was the perfect metaphor for the state of mind of the character uh, and, and we decided to explore that a lot. We were shooting at night and it was becoming cold but during the day it was so hot that there was this natural fog uh, and when we light it with the lights it was very very beautiful and, and it was another uh, illustration of the character's decline and confusion. So stuff like that that you don't expect, that, but you, you learn to play around uh, on the set is, is, is interesting.